Trump today escalating his stunning reversal of decades of U.S. nuclear policy, first announced on Twitter Thursday, that instead of cutting weapons, the U.S. should strengthen and expand nuclear capabilities. On today, Trump's new White House press secretary reinforcing the harder line. We're not going to sit back as a country and allow other countries to expand their nuclear capability with the U.S. just sitting idly by. This president is going to take action. But despite sounding like a cold warrior, Trump was also sending softer signals today, releasing what the president-elect called a very nice letter Putin sent him last week. While Putin was telling reporters if Trump invites him to visit America, of course I will go. A sharp contrast with President Obama's threat to punish Putin for Russia's hacking to interfere in the U.S. election, a charge Putin mocked today, saying, Losers always look for ways to accuse somebody else. They should look at themselves first. Let it be an arms race. Those are the words from someone who will soon have the power to enter the United States into just such a race, President-elect Donald Trump. Mr. Trump was seeking to clarify, we think, a statement he made less than 24 hours ago, the United States must greatly strengthen and expand its nuclear capability until such a time as the world comes to its senses regarding nukes. There was a phone call that came in from Mr. Trump, and as we understand it, um, you put the host on the phone, or she took a phone call from the president-elect, and he, as she reported it, he said to her, let it be an arms race in terms of building up our nuclear capabilities with, I guess, against Russia. Let it be an arms race because we will outmatch them at every pass and outlast them all. What does let it be an arms race mean? Well, I, I think it goes back to what I just said with respect to the tweet that he put out. He is going to do what it takes to protect this country. And if another country or countries want to threaten our safety or our sovereignty, he's going to do what it sure, takes. Sure, but he's not waiting until another country threatens us. He's making these He's making it very clear. No, right, but he's making it very clear that other countries and other companies, you've seen with Carrier and other, he's going to make it clear that he will be an active president that will get things Meaning done. Meaning he will use nuclear weapons if no, need no, be. He, he, will, he will not take anything off the table. What it means is that he's not going to sit back and let another country act. He needs to send a clear and concise message, which he's done, that he is going to be a president that defends America's interests and defends the American people. The Russian President Vladimir Putin, he is shrugging off the president-elect's call for an expansion of U.S. nuclear capabilities. The Russian leader says there's nothing new about that and that any arms race would not be Russia's fault. The tactical uh, nuclear uh, arms of the United States are updated, are modernized there. So if someone uh, accelerates and speeds up the arms race, it's not us. But I'd like to underline, which is important for our domestic situation and domestic public, I'd like to say that we will never, once we are in the arms race, we will never spend too much 